Hey guys, All In Crypto here and welcome back for another video everybody. In this video, I'm going to be asking and answering the question, is the Bitcoin bull run over? Um, guys, I do not believe it is. I am adamant that it isn't. Uh, I kind of got you with that title. I'm sure um, some of you clicked on here thinking, oh no, the Bitcoin bull run might have been cancelled. It has indeed not, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly why I believe it's not and why you should still be extremely bullish on not only Bitcoin, but the wider crypto market. So without further ado, guys, let's get straight into this video. And we're going to start by sort of taking a look at how the overall market's doing. Bitcoin uh, today is 32,000. 32,500. Uh, it's down nearly 5% on the 24 hour and 15% on the seven day. The rest of the market, some altcoins are showing relative strength in comparison to Bitcoin. Polkadot is still climbing. Um, if you haven't already checked out my video on Polkadot that I did, that I brought out yesterday, I suggest you go and do so if you're interested in the project. However, typically, we're seeing the same thing. When Bitcoin sells off, it's like a magnet. The rest of the, the, the sort of market goes with it. You can also look at it as a tide. When Bitcoin being the tide rises, all the ships rise and sink accordingly. So what we're going to do, guys, to sort of um, start off uh, this video and to hopefully put your minds at ease is we're going to take a look at the Bitcoin chart and we're going to compare this current bull run that we're seeing in 2021 to the previous bull run in 2027. Uh, uh, 2027, 2017. We've not got there yet, but I, I hope we have a, a, another bull run then. Um, and essentially, what I'm going to do is also go over the Bitcoin four year cycle theory, which is the reason everybody today believes uh, well, not everybody, but a large percentage of people believe that Bitcoin is going on um, to uh, the moon essentially. Um, and we may take a look at 2013, 2017. Um, the Bitcoin cycle theory for you very quickly, guys, is essentially Bitcoin works in sort of four stages over four years. Each sort of turn of the new year, it tends to sort of change in its sort of overall trend and trajectory. Um, essentially, year one is the year following the so year one being 2018 following 2017 is where you enter the bear market and you begin to descend into that bear market. Uh, year two is essentially where you sort of bottom out and find your bottom. Um, year three is where you sort of you know, break a lot of descending resistances, you start to sort of climb higher um, and really so, sort of, sort of, you know, let the bulls take over. And year four is where you just have your absolute parabola. And this is the logarithmic uh, chart for Bitcoin. If you guys are wondering why it looks so different, the normal chart for Bitcoin looks like this. Um, so first, what we're going to do before we get into the four year cycle theory is we're going to take a quick look at what happened last bull cycle. Um, now, essentially, guys, one thing that is very important for me to sort of tell you is that Bitcoin frequently sells off by anywhere up to 30% in its parabola stage, in its bull market, in the fourth year of that cycle. It will sell off, um, you know, up to 30%. The way you guys need to look at this, if you're like me and you're a macro investor, I do not take short term trades. Uh, often I do take the odd short term trade only if there's a high probability of it um, working. However, it's not something I take very often. You need to look at this as kind of like a race. Um, you are going to have to come in for a pit stop at some point, And all Bitcoin does with these pullbacks is essentially it's like him taking a pit stop. It could just go all out, um, but then it will eventually have to stop once he's run out of fuel and it will cover less ground. Whereas if it takes that pit stop, it can, you know, it might lose out on a bit of sort of time. However, it will make sort of further ground. So that's one way to really look at it. And, and really, guys, if you could go back to 2017 and sort of play the ball run all over again, you'd essentially have accumulated at every single dip here because you'd have been in the profits at the top. Now, of course, would you have sold um, at the top of around about 20,000? Uh, and not a lot of people did. Uh, some people did. Uh, not a lot did, though. Most people wrote it all the way back down. So uh, if we look at the sort of a bull run in 2017, guys, we can see that we are regularly taking, um, you know, up to 30% um, pullbacks on, you know, reg regular basis. Um you know, they don't have to be 30%. They can be anywhere sort of from 30%. Um, but we, we, we kind of see it the whole way through the uh, bull market, guys. You know, very, very common. Just something that kind of happens. Um, and there are more dips in this. Like I say, this is the sort of macro. This is a, 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 a big sort of time frame scale. Um, so you're not going to see them as clearly. But, guys, you can clearly see that, you know, we didn't just go straight up. Nothing necessarily goes straight up. Everything sort of, you know, plays about. Um, and we're all we've got, all we're really doing, guys, is repeating that exact same thing, which is one reason why this pullback has actually made me more bullish on Bitcoin than I originally was. The, the Bitcoin uh, bull run is certainly not cancelled for this year. I actually believe that we are just getting started, guys. Um, and you know, we really have a lot to sort of confirm that. And if we go into the Bitcoin four-year cycle theory, we can take a sort of closer look on the logarithmic scale um, of just how how sort of severe these pullbacks were. Um, so. 
essentially we're in the fourth year and we're going to see you know the parabolic move sort of start and, and, and to date guys this four year cycle theory has been exceptionally accurate for those of you who say it's nonsense i would sort of say go and look at the charts because they don't lie you know the, the data that we have suggests that we are continuing on that trajectory it is a, it is is it a, it is a continuation pattern um and i am you know so bullish on the on the cryptocurrency market as a whole and you know very bullish on bitcoin uh, i have stated on a number of I do believe that certain altcoins are going to outperform Bitcoin. I'm not a Bitcoin maximalist. I think Bitcoin is uh, better at certain things like being a store of value. Um, however, I'm not a Bitcoin maximalist. I do think there are altcoins out there that are going to outperform Bitcoin. And I also think there are altcoins out there that have better technology behind them than Bitcoin. Um, but that is for another video, guys. We're going to really focus. We're going to take a little look at, at sort of what played out in 2017 on the logarithmic chart. And we're going to compare it to um, sort of what happened, what is happening currently. We're not only going to take a look at 2017, we're also going to take a look at 2013. And I'm talking very fast, guys, because I've got a lot to get through in this video. I don't want to keep you guys here forever and ever. Um, but yeah, anyway, so without further ado, let's take a look at 2017. And you can see here more clearly indicated, this is 2017, that we had a significant amount more uh, pullbacks on this chart showing than we did on this one. Um, but, you know, the, the, the pullbacks are frequent, 20 to, you know, Anywhere from sort of five to thirty percent pullbacks are common and frequent, and, and and essentially, guys, if you could go back in time and hindsight was a thing, you would have bought at every single one of these dips. And I, I believe I'm not telling you guys to do anything; it's up to you what you do with your own money. I'm not a financial advisor, but you know, do not rule this Bitcoin bull run out. You know at all yet guys let's just see how things play out of course there are levels that we could go below that would sort of make everybody take a bit of another look but ultimately you either believe in what the cryptocurrency uh, market is trying to do and what cryptocurrencies the agenda sort of behind them and uh, uh, and the um, sort of religion if you will behind them or you don't and and, and you stick with that um, i haven't taken profits on really anything yet um because you know i i i think the the bitcoin market really is still in its infancy not just the Bitcoin market, the overall crypto market. 2017 was an immature market, guys, uh, largely driven by retailers and sort of speculation. Now we're seeing actual use cases for the cryptocurrency market. And we're also seeing a huge amount of uh, institutional investors get involved, such as Goldman Sachs, Grayscale, and a long list of others. Um, so we're seeing some real big players get into the game. And believe it or not, guys, you are actually seeing... Um, so that was 2017. Let's just continue with this before I sort of go on a tangent about who's buying Bitcoin right now. 2017, so you can see we have frequent pullbacks. Once we sort of... Every time we sort of go on to higher grounds, we have a pullback. See it as a pit stop, guys. We're just fueling up. Um this, some of these pullbacks can, when Bitcoin dominance sort of shirks off, can allow um, altcoins to sort of make moves. I mean, we're seeing, you know, some altcoins actually perform fairly well in, 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 in sort of indirect correlation with Bitcoin. Um, but yeah, so this is 2017. Let us go to, I mean, you know, we had less pullbacks in 2013 where we made 100 times the uh, initial where bitcoin started 2017 we made only uh, 20 times and i think we're going to sort of anywhere from 100 to 200k i think bitcoin sort of may top out i think 100k is absolutely guaranteed i've made videos on it go and check them out if you haven't already but what i'm really trying to do in this video guys is is put your minds at ease and just let you know that you know this is absolutely normal the bitcoin bull run in my opinion isn't cancelled by any means and we have been following this four-year cycle theory on the logarithmic chart not only the logarithmic chart guys we've also been following it on the um sort of normal chart if we zoom in here you know this is 2013 guys you can see the similar action in 2013 than you can in 2017 and guys Look at what's happened. I mean, you couldn't make this up. Just before I leave you guys, I just want to give you some news. Goldman Sachs says Bitcoin is on a path to maturity. Uh, Goldman Sachs to enter the crypto market soon with custody uh, with custody play source. Um, so why would big institutions now be getting in right at the top? I mean, this looks very toppy. I, I, even I can sort of admit that. Why have you got institutions going all out and buying at this current stage? Do they think it's over? I do not believe so. And, and ultimately, guys, you've got to follow the smart money to make money. Um, here we have Grayscale purchases 60 million Bitcoin uh, in 24 hours. Wow. So they purchased 16,244 Bitcoin in 20, in one single day, guys. They are ramping up. They obviously know something that, you know, the wider sort of retail guys don't. And, and, and this is really... Like I say, following smart money is always a good idea. Uh, On-chain data suggests more institutions are buying Bitcoin over-the-counter. So over-the-counter sales may not affect the sort of market price um, 
instantly, whereas if you buy on exchange, they have more of an effect and, and, and sort of come into effect sooner. Um, so yeah, guys, that's it. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's put some of your minds at ease. I hope I haven't spoke too fast. Like I say, I've tried to get through uh, a lot in this video in a short amount of time. Um, but guys, this is the short and curlies of it. We are still following the four-year Bitcoin cycle theory to a T. Um, we're somewhat following Plan B's models and a number of other models. And, you know, I hope you guys are ex as excited for this bull run as I am. Like I say, I am not a financial advisor. Do not do or sell it or buy, sell anything as a result of what I've told you to do. Do your own research, guys, because ultimately it's your money. It's on your head what you do with it. And look, this is just my opinion. I personally, being uh, transparent, have invested. I'm all in crypto, guys. Um, I'm not just saying that's not just the name of the channel. I am all in crypto because I believe in cryptocurrencies and what they're setting out to achieve. I believe they're going to revolutionize the world as we know it, certainly the financial world, but not just the financial world, you know, sort of the system of doing things as we know it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Please leave a like, comment, comment your thoughts below and subscribe for more videos and make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified when new videos come out. Thanks a lot, guys. See you on the next one.